Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, we're trying to explore some various cool maps online, right? So maps are very useful. They are very essential technology in the world, right? And it's very useful. So there are several things you can do with maps. So let's see some various cool online maps available that you have never thought of, right? Okay, so this is the most useful one of them all, right? Yeah, Google Map, which everybody everybody knows. And you can zoom in as far as you can do. You can do some search. And you see that as I zoom in, the coordinates changes here, right? And the language, you can change the language here. So the API is very simple. And you can do some various things there, right? So Ghana, you can see some things in Sudan. You can go to India, China, see Ukraine, see Germany, UK, Brazil, United States, right? So all of these things are very, very cool stuff you can do all, all this time, right? You can see that, you can see the world in general, but that is number one. So there are other alternatives for Google map, right? Which is open street map, which is also very useful. So in case you don't want to use Google, you can also use open street map. So most companies, because this is open source, right? Google is paid. But this is commercial proprietary software, but this is open source software. So most people design apps with this, right? Very cool. And it's also very useful, right? Very, very nice. And you can see that it is the names of the countries are per the language of the country, right? Very cool. You can see that here, you see all of them are being automatically translated to their respective language. Wow, this is a language. <laughs> very cool. So this is another alternative for Google Map, right? And there are a lot of things you can do with it. The next one is open topo map, right? So open topo map is also something very simple, which is topographic map of the world. So you can see that these are all hills, deserts, greenish area, vegetation, see the, the Sahara desert, see the Arabian deserts, you can see the desert here, like this small like desert. Now, this looks like ice, but I have no idea of why this is white. <laughs> you can see, okay, yeah. So interpreting maps can be very interesting. Perfect. So these are some of the alternatives. So we have Google, we have OpenStreetMap, we have Open Topo Map, we have here we go. Here is go is also a very nice alternative. Right, you can also check it out. But it's also another alternative, right? So you can also use here we go. They are also using their own software. Then there is also Wave, right? Or this, I don't know, yeah, I spelled it wrong. This, which is also very useful. It gives you some various cool stuff you can do. Right, very nice, right? So all of these things are basic webs, right? Of course, all the search engines have their own map, like Bank, Bank has its own map. Bank has their own map, right, you can see. And then Baidu also have their own map in Chinese, right? So all the webs, web application have their own map. Now let's move on from webs. I have all the list here, so you can check it out later on in the links below. Let's move on from the normal maps to some various interesting flight and aviation maps. So in case you are traveling and you want to use some of the maps, this is one of them. So just go to here. So this is a very nice platform, Flight Radar 24, which is also using the same map, but it's building a lot of technologies on it, right? So this is showing all the flights in real life, right? All the planes that are moving together with the flight. So you can track your flight, which is a very useful service can see that some countries have a lot of flights going up and down. You can, when you click on it, you can see the name of the flight at that particular time. So the concept of how this is working is very impressive. It's using radar together with the GPS and then the technology on board of the planes and their coordinates to, to specify where the plane is currently. So in case a plane is missing, you can also know, so in case you want to know where your plane is coming from, right? And as you can see, some parts of the world have a lot of planes here, than here, you see that there's not a lot of people coming here, especially here too, people are not coming here. And somebody can tell me, right here, you can see that there are not a lot of people flying now because of what is happening between Russia and then Ukraine. You can see that you can't see a lot of planes coming here because of the war, right? You can see a lot of planes in Turkey, right? Turkey is very populated can see Europe is also a lot. If you go to India, China, and then some parts of the world, right? 
the NIGC. So this is another map you can use, flight radar. There's also another alternative, which is also called radar bus, right? Which is also the same thing, the same idea behind flight radar is the same thing. So this is also useful in case you want to check for flights that are moving up and down, right? And this one even gives you some various cool things. You can zoom in, you can see the flight picture, right? Very, very cool. You can click on it, you get the information about the flight. The same thing can be done here. If you click on a flight, you get the information in the picture and then the time is going to fly, which is a very useful service. Very cool. So we have seen about planes. Now let's move on from the sky, right, to the sea, right? So the same thing we could do in the sky, we can also have maps to plot ships, right? So this is vessel finder. So in case you want to find a vessel, this in case you want to find a plane, this in case you want to find a vessel, you can see that these are all the ships, right? They are moving around. Very cool. <laughs> Some of them are very interesting. So we can see cargo ships. Based on the key, you can know this is a cargo ship, satellite position, fishing ship, right? Other auxiliary stuff, you can see where people, where the ships of the world are going around. <laughs> you can zoom in, you can see coming from Spain. You can also see almost all, because this is for ships and vessels, right? Sea vessels. You don't see them here, right? Of course, <laughs> right? You can see there's a lot moving on the western part of the US and, and you can see the rest there. So this is also very nice stuff. You can also check, right? Okay. There's also another one called marine traffic, which is also similar to vessel finder. So there's also marine traffic, which also do the same thing. So you can track a particular ship. So this is a fishing ship. This is a cargo vessel. This is a tanker, right? I have no idea what a tanker is doing on the sea. <laughs> okay, so this is a very nice marine traffic map, which is also similar to the visual finder. There is also one for, we have seen for planes, you have seen for ships. Now let's go out of these places and go to space, right? So you can also see a map of all the satellites in the world, right? So if you go outside of the earth, this from this particular platform, you can see all the satellites that are on the edge, right? So which is very, very cool. So I can just rotate the world like that. <laughs> so these are all satellites, right? These are all satellites. You can see the particular information from it. You can zoom in, which is very cool. These are live, right? That is one. And one very nice thing concerning satellites, if you go to space, is platform Leo Labs. Leo Labs have a very nice platform, which is very cool. If I go to full window view, it's going to load it. You can see all the maps, or you can see all the satellites that are actually in space, right? So, and you can see the key, the the color payload. You can see it from here: payload, uh, rocket, debris, unknown. And if you click on this one, you can see the name of the particular satellite, right? And you can see that it's actually moving at this particular place. And you can see Starlink, right? And this stuff here, these green ones are also beams, right there. The ones that are shooting, these are beams. And then these ones are also debris. The red ones are debris, as we are seeing here, right? Very cool. You can see Starlink. Starlink from SpaceX Elon Musk. You can see it here. Right. You can also select them, so you can just take off the beams, so they are no more there. You can take off the other instruments, right, so all the other instruments are gone. You can also follow it, right, and then you can also do some other stuff, right. Very cool. You can zoom in as far as you wish, and then I, I think I saw one for Starlink. You can also check it out. Right. This is a very nice service, right, very, very cool, right, so there are a lot of satellite in space, but this is just scaled up. That's why they look big. Actually, they are not as big as this, but to make it easy for us, you see that Starlink is good and you can actually follow it, which is very cool, right? So you should not even be bored. <laughs> okay, so that is one. So you have finished with the main maps. You have seen some aviation maps. You have seen some marine world maps. You have seen some in space. Now let's move on to the internet, right? So there's also internet maps, right? So you can also check like this, let me copy this one. 
which is going to be the map of the internet which is how many people are using it or different locations for different sites so you can see that this is the map the internet map right so it looks like the planet map if i click on this you can see the particular uh, website that is being used in this part of the world right and you can also go back again to other parts so you can see us.com right very very cool stuff right so this is very cool you can go down so these are all websites <laughs> there are some of the websites you have no idea so this is the map of of all the websites in the world right and then their country so you can also search for a particular country and see the dominant ones which is very very cool right so since we can just check the links to different websites and stuff we can also check attacks right so these are going to be our next one which is let me move on to those ones which are very interesting these are cyber threats and attacks so we just go with kaspersky which is let's go back to this yep i'll just put it here all right so we have checkpoint threat map so these are actual live cyber threat map from different service from different countries you can see that from us is attacking uk turkey attacking itself different parts of the world right very very good so these are actually real life cyber threat map right very very cool you can see the different types of attacks and the top targeted country <laughs> mongolia wow and the top targeted industry education healthcare government very cool so you can see the, the key also so there's one from checkpoint there's also one from kaspersky or kaspersky so i see that this is also very nice you can zoom in you can zoom into the country you can see the actual live attack you can see the different types of attack right and then you can click on it see it coming around you can see some countries have more attacks than others <laughs> there are no attacks coming from here because the data is not mapped yeah. so sometimes when you check maps and you don't see any information here it's not mean that there's nothing in africa <laughs> it means that they did there is they are not fetching as much data from here right that's the meaning so in the same way if you go back here right people are not living here as much right so that is why you're not going to see any data point from here and then if you go back here people are here but not here as much so that is a understand like if you go to antarctica right so it is where people are that's where they are tracking and then where the data is available that's where they are tracking right very cool okay so that is some live maps there's also one for ddos attacks so this is for live cyber attacks there's also for botnet right so these are live botnet traits which is very cool right <laughs> very cool wow most top 10 west botnet countries all india china united states indonesia very cool right that's interesting so still on the internet right so these are very nice stuff you can do with maps let's move on from here to bitcoin right so we'll be going to cryptocurrency which is here which is still part of net we have crypto i'll copy this one and then we'll check it out apologies for how long okay so welcome back so these are also bit notes right so live map of reachable notes in bitcoin network so this as we this was uh, for cyber attack right cyber there's also one for bitcoin right so you can see where all the nodes are in us in europe since that there are no <laughs> nodes here right because these things are advanced not that advanced technology but we need to monitor them right very cool so there's one for bitcoin there's also one called coin map right which is also very nice so coin map not coinbase coin map is also a very nice service that allows you to be able to find the closest place to buy uh to buy an exchange or work with cryptocurrency as well as atm around so if i click on vmap so it's going to give you some various cool stuff right the current trend you can see the map right so europe in lagos 
United States, in Thailand, India, Japan. Wow, <laughs> cool. <laughs> so you can see the the map for cryptocurrency and then the ATMs and where you can market it and get merchants. Right, very cool. So we have seen for Bitcoin, we have seen for crypto. There's also one for the internet itself, right? So we saw one for the internet, there's also another one for the internet, which shows some real school stuff. Let me show you that one. Perfect. So this is still one of them for the internet. So internet, a uh, global internet map. So you can see the different place, right? So these are all cables, right? These are all the global internet map, how it's used and cables that have been that are connected. So these are different places in the world, right? So the network of the internet. And then there's also one for Wi-Fi. So you can also check for Wi-Fi in your city. So let's check for a city, like let's say, you can give a city. So let's like say New York. Yeah. If I go with this, you can see the city, the entire city's Wi-Fi, right? Yeah. yeah it did not come well, but you get the point. This is an app you have to download to see it all. Okay, so that is some of them. Now let's move on from these ones to some very cool weather maps, right? So these are weather maps. So Meteo Blue is also a very useful service. They don't only just have weather maps. They also have for satellite, weather radar, clouds, temperature, sunshine, wind, which is very cool, wind gust, and the rest, right? So you can see that this is live wind. This is weather, right? Weather map. You can see it here. Weather maps are very interesting to explain. <laughs> it was used to show weather forecasts, right? So you can also change it from this. This is to let's say it's a uh, wind you can see the wind map so meteor blue is also a very powerful website this is very useful there is also for let's say precipitation that is rain there is daily snow right you can see it very well right so meteor blue is also very nice right very very cool stuff yeah yeah you can see where i am i know <laughs> okay so let's see another one which is also another one, which is open weather map. Open weather map is also a very nice system. So there are several things you can do with maps, right? There are several things you can do. There are several maps in the world, right? You can do a lot of things, right? You can see the particular weather, Constantine, the temperature that place. Sometimes I wonder how these things are built. <laughs> they need to fetch data. They need to get sensors and then weather stations in different places. Well, the internet has changed the world. Maps have changed the world. As a matter of fact, sometimes I think this is not all the world. <laughs> okay. Now we have finished with weather. Let's see infrastructure, right? So this is an infrastructure map that shows the transmission system, right? It's uh, This one is for power grid, right? It is for power grid. So you can see the power grid of a particular country, which is very, very scary. Yeah. Right, so the world has become a small village. This is mostly for Europe, yeah, of course, because that is well structured, yeah, and it's older, yeah, you understand. And then apart from this, there's also one for. This is for grid. We can also do another one. Let me check the links. Yeah, so we see the infrastructure. We have one for electricity, so we can also check the electricity. What we saw was a energy grid, right? This is for energy. You can also check for electricity. So, which is very cool, right? You can see the climate impact by area. You can see, wow, carbon intensity by, by the place, which is very, very cool. So carbon intensity, carbon renewable. So you see, this is what I was talking about. So sometimes when you check a map and you don't see anything in Africa or in Southern America or here, it's not like nothing is there. It's the reason is that there's no data, right? So this is a very good system. They are telling that there's no data. Not that nothing is there, but they have not collected data. And you can also change in case you're colorblind, right? Which is a very nice. So electricity map of the world. We have seen electricity. We have seen for the power grid, which is in this one. Yeah. There's also one for power plants, right? So this is also one you can check for all the power plants in the world, which is also very scary. <laughs> so you should not even be bored, right? So you can see all the power plants 
in the world right which is this is scary because it's making the world more like a global village right or something very small which is very very cool right casanova Cas casamova musa i have never heard of a country like that wow so you can see all the power grid of different parts of the world some of them are nuclear so this is uh nuclear fission right this is wind or biogas this is biogas this is the rest right so different different types very cool ghana has biogas ghana has i don't know what this one is combustion wow so you can see the different power plants in the world right there's also one for wind so in case you want to see wind farms and then wind turbines in the world you can also check it out which is here like uh, let's go back to wind so this one or oh, windy 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 is also a very nice system which is this here so this is also going to show you the wind and there is also this one for wind farms or wind turbines right so you can see that you have one for this is wind turbine stuff database in the us this is only for the us right which is very cool and if you check these ones and you map them over so if i go back and i map them over here where's the united states yeah if i map this one you can see the direction of the wind and then here right as you can see this one and here right that is so you, with this data or with this data on how the wind is moving you can learn on where to put your turbines right which is very cool right and, and that is the importance of maps right okay now let's move on from here and let's move on to some other ones right so you have seen let's go back to this this is also very i think we check this one marine world check it check the sea let's see some other ones okay this is also very nice this is also for the submarine cables so these are part of the internet so the internet they are submarine fiber optic cables in the world right so these are all the fiber optic cables moving from one country all the way and a particular brand right submarine cable so submarine cable i don't mean it's a submarine under it means it's a fiber optic stuff right i think so if i'm sure right and you can see that the length of the cable so the world is actually connected <laughs> very very cool so the lead pipes or cables under the ground right you can see all of them here which is very impressive right. there is also one for this it's so similar so you can see how the world has been next to it these are all cables under the ground like fiber optic cables internet cables see the you can see that this europe is well connected india is also connected and then china is also very connected united states south america and you can see from western africa nigeria ghana ivory coast even from the mediterranean south africa australia right and let's go to antarctica there's nothing in antarctica <laughs> okay so this is very cool it's always an interest now <laughs> yes yeah cool okay now let's move on from here to some other ones so we have seen infrastructure we have seen some let's go to bible maps right so there are also bible maps so this is also one for history so there's also one from bible hub so you can actually pick a particular verse of the bible and you see the map of the place so this is genesis chapter 2 and you can zoom in I'll zoom out there's also some other bible maps that's not the only one there's this one also from ramsey which talks about the particular type of country so you can just get the map of the f places recorded in the five books of moses which is very cool right wow very very nice so these are old maps right old maps online so you have seen bible maps kush so this was kush so this is for genesis chapter 2 so if i change it to a different part of the bible 
So we generate chapter three, I'm going to see like a particular type of map and the rest, right? The same thing for here. This is per Canaan, Palestine, different stuff, Judea, Syria, and the rest, right? Very nice. Now let's go to social media. So for social media today, so very nice maps like Snapchat has one map, which is this. Uh, maps dot snapchat which is very nice i wonder how facebook or instagram did not do anything like this this is a very nice one so you can see in real real time what people are posting on snapchat in different parts of the world so if i go down 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 you can click on this you can see what the person just posted <laughs> which is very cool i don't know <laughs> which is very nice i wonder how it is done right very cool so this is royal life so this is a very nice feature from snapchat right i wish uh facebook would have done something like that it would have been very impressive or oh, instagram it would have been very very impressive okay that is one for social media we have maps of snapchat.com we also have one for twitter it's called Twipo. yeah Twipless. so this one too, you can also see tweets right per country right that is one of them there's other nice features of it. And then there's also one more called Who's Map. So Who's Map was created by Peter, Le Peter Levels, which is also very nice. So you can see your hood, your, ne your neighborhood. And that is very giving some information about what to do. So don't walk alone in this place. So yeah, if you're here, this is what you know about this hood. <laughs> we'll be treated in, we'll be trending in a few years. Wow. Which is very, very cool. Right. So this is for Lesbon. You can change the country as you wish. So you can just choose a particular country. So Bangkok. And it's giving us stuff. You can actually submit data there, right? So you have various cool things you can do with maps. So we have seen one from Who's Map, one from Twitter, one from Snapchat. Let's see one more. Yeah, that's all. Now let's move on from the social media and let's go to military maps, right? So there are some various, very nice military maps which is interesting anyway <laughs> so let's check it out so this is i think this was created during the war in the ukraine last year All right so this is live ua map so you can see what is happening in ukraine and russia All right you can see it here so these are all the eastern countries like right? lugans then all the other ones right you can see them here Ivan, Ivan, Ivanivka, and the rest, right? Very cool, right? Okay, that's not the only one. There's also one again for the military. And one of the things I'm afraid of is I don't know if the military, which is close source, they have very concrete maps of the world. This is for Russian military forces. This is very scary. <laughs> yeah, you can see the particular anti aircraft missile i wonder how all of this information is online <laughs> you can check it out see, see you can see that this land maneuver naval air force right aerospace and air force right very cool so this was another military map right so you have seen some various things you can do with maps there are so many things you can do with maps we have seen the simple basic ones like Google Map, which is very powerful, very, very powerful. There is OpenStreetMap, also another alternative powerful stuff. There is Here We Go, there is Wave, these are all common. There is Bing and there is Baidu, these are all general maps, which you can do a lot of things. But there are also specific maps like this, which is for satellite from Leo Labs or the satellites in space. There is one also here. You have also seen for radar for flights. You have also seen for sea, right? In case you want to find a vessel, marine traffic. You have also seen for the weather. And you have seen Meteo Blue, which is also very powerful for a lot of things. You have seen for cyber threats from Kaspersky and then threats, threat map. And then for botnet, you have also seen some Bible maps, some hood maps for social networks internet bitcoin node and the rest right so there are a lot of things you can do right so i 
have a list of all of them here so you can just check the link below for more of course there are more that i did not check them out like the wind wind farm data centers and this is a very nice one in which you can see the data centers in the world this is this was very impressive this is one for tour right this was this is very nice right you can see all the data centers so in case you're a developer or a devops person or a cloud engineer and there's also one for tor which is also impressive i know tor is <laughs> if you can see where the traffic is going from which is very very cool right more from europe yeah to the us the tour traffic from more every coast really <laughs> that's interesting some from philippines I don't know whether this is Philippines or oh, this is Philippines. Okay, this is Japan. This is Philippines. Right. Oh, you can see the tour traffic. Right. Very cool. So thank you for watching this tutorial. See you another time. Stay blessed. Bye.